Hello, I'm JW, and another wooden fuse box to have a look at. Uh, this particular one is uh, a fairly small one, and uh, this has actually been modified somewhat from its uh, original design, so uh, let's have a quick look inside. Now here's the fuse box, a uh, wooden case of course, uh, these squares in the background are one centimetre, and uh, size-wise this one is about seven inches uh, there by uh, approximately five inches, uh, thickness-wise uh, that's probably about three inches depth. Now it's a wooden case on this one and the interior has actually been modified, uh, notice a nice sort of uh, dirt and mess there, but uh, as you see, we've got this row of uh, four ceramic fuse holders here, and uh, originally there would have been another row of four here. You can still see that there's a hole here. Just bend this wire away, and there's uh, would have been four holes across there for mounting. But at some point uh, in the past, someone has removed the original block of fuses, which would have been here, and instead put this uh, rather horrible plastic terminal thing inside instead. And uh, obviously, that's because uh, double pole fusing, of course, went out in the 1950s. So they've obviously connected all the neutrals together in this uh, single terminal here. Not uh, obviously returning its original condition, but uh, nevertheless uh, at least 50% of it's still there. Now the uh, fuse holders here on these strips of timber, and as you can see there's a little brass piece here which you can just undo. And then this entire piece uh, just pulls out there with a modicum of effort. And you see there's those four holes where the original fuse holders would have been screwed in. Single piece of uh, what looks like plywood in the middle just to divide the uh, two halves there. And notice the back again is totally open. Of course, you expect this would be screwed to a wooden panel or board or something, and the wires, of course, would pass through that. Now, the fuses themselves are made of a white ceramic, and uh, these are all 5 amp fuses, as is typically the case for lighting uh, circuits. And again, you've got the two prongs here, which fit over this uh, cylindrical terminal where the wiring is connected. And uh, that may well be uh, some kind of an asbestos material in the bottom there. Just going for a closer look on that. Now I'm not going to also be poking that because that could release uh, fibres into the air, but uh, nevertheless it uh, probably is asbestos. Now we've got the uh, circuit wiring actually comes out the bottom of these ones, so, or at least the bottom on this uh, angle there, and you can see it would go into the uh, terms at the end. Uh, this wire is actually missing. That's still intact, that has no insulation left. A very good example of what happens to rubber wiring when it gets old. And at the other end, of course, uh, at the top here is where the uh, wiring would actually come in. And as you can see, there's a uh, metal strap that goes all the way across the back. Of course, just a single uh, incoming supply wire on the back there. And again, the back's again totally open here, so these wires would have obviously gone through some sort of board or other fitting on the back here. Now there's a bit of wording left on this cable here. As you can see, it's uh, just about visible. It says uh, 250, which would be the uh, voltage there, and uh, remains of made in England at the bottom. Yes, yeah, 250 volts, and uh, not quite sure, is that CMA in there perhaps? Uh, so quite very difficult to uh, actually make out the wording, but uh, nevertheless this is rubber insulation. Not too bad actually at this part, although as you can see there are a number of fractures there, and if you bend it, it does the usual thing of just uh, completely cracking and uh, fracturing apart. Two hinges on this one. Uh, the hinge here is fine, although uh, unfortunately this top hinge has been uh, somewhat bent out of shape, so uh, a bit of damage there, and the pin is sort of detached from the a little bit of brass that folds over, so uh, obviously we can just bend that back into place, that shouldn't be too bad. Next again, like typical with these, the uh, dovetail corners there will probably uh, join together, and uh, it's sort of varnished in some kind of horrible orange uh, coloured material, and inside it's basically just plain with that huge amount of dirt and mess and dust in the bottom. So overall it's not uh, too dreadful. So it's a pity that this uh, other half has been uh, replaced with this uh, ridiculous terminal, obviously being made out of uh, relatively uh, modern plastic, but uh, of course you can see why that was done. It was uh, quicker and easier to do that rather than uh, replace the entire fuse box. So just another quick look there, the uh, wooden fuse box. Uh, that one, say, has been modified as the uh, original second row of fuses has been replaced with that rather horrible screw terminal thing. And uh, sorry, I can try and repair that hinge as well and uh, hopefully uh, make it look a bit better than it does at the moment. But uh, until next time, thanks for watching.